This pendulum is made from a thin sheet of aluminum. Since it's aluminum, it's an electrical conductor, but it does not stick to magnets. I also have a strong magnet. We'll position this strong magnet so the pendulum can swing through it without touching it. Stop the video and predict what's going to happen when we release the pendulum. Three, two, one. Let's watch that one more time. Now let's rotate the setup 90 degrees and take a look from this angle. As you can see, the pendulum swings through without touching the magnet. Now we'll modify the pendulum by taking it to a saw and cutting slots in it like you see here. Let's try this new pendulum and see what happens to it. Without the magnet in place, it's free to swing back and forth just as the other pendulum did. Now we'll put that strong magnet in place so the pendulum can swing through it without touching it. Stop the video and predict what's going to happen this time. Three, two, one. The result is slightly different this time. We'll rotate the apparatus by 90 degrees and take a look from this angle. Now we'll make another modification to our pendulum. We'll connect the bottoms of those slots so they don't go all the way out to the end. They're confined within the pendulum. So those are connected together at the bottom. This pendulum will also swing back and forth freely without the magnet in place. We'll position that strong magnet, stop the video, and predict what's going to happen when we release this pendulum. Three, two, one. Very similar to the solid pendulum, isn't it? Let's put the solid pendulum back on and take a look at that again. And the pendulum with the connected slots one more time.